Hi guys, Glenmont here and welcome to 26th episode of Fun Farms. Plenty episodes recently, isn't it? Well, 114 seemed to have changed intentionally or unintentionally many many things and now we need to address them. Today we have a little PSA or public service announcement regarding this farm over here, but actually all other mob farms as well, of any type really. So I've been receiving many signals from you that this farm is not working as it did in 113. I mean, it's still pretty crazy, but not as crazy comparing to 113. And there are a couple of things that's happening here. First is that even that we are in a proper void, nothing is happening here really. There is no redstone in this farm. It seems very laggy for some reason. And in fact, if we press Alt F3, we can see that the game is experiencing significant and massive lag spikes every time pretty much an Enderman is spawned. After doing some investigations, it seems like it's connected to some mess-ups with Enderman pathfinding. Since the game runs slower, the farm also feels slower. And more than that, since it's a server lag, if you are, for example, in a multiplayer server and using one of these, that would make the game herky-jerky for all other players as well. But that's just part of the problem. There's a bug for it and the bug tracker already for that, so feel free to upvote it. But it's already assigned to be fixed, so this might be fixed for 1.14.1. The bigger problem is that the spawning rules have actually changed comparing to 113. I mean, entire chunk and spawning has been rewritten, but Moyang employees have been quite diligent in making sure the new spawning, although running on a completely different code, would work exactly the same, but they haven't noticed this little small bit. And that's something that has been brought to my attention by a logical geek boy that says that something ain't right together with methods when they were testing a bunch of farms and was later confirmed by XCOM and Skyrising from the Skycraft server. And that's a change that spawning in each chunk is limited to that chunk, meaning if the spawning for a particular chunk wanders away to the neighboring chunk, it's aborted. This means that only spawns pretty much in the center of the chunks should be able to behave similarly comparing to 113, while spawns that start at the very corner of a chunk will only be able to spawn about a quarter of the mobs that they could have spawned before. So what is the effect on the mob farms? The folks' research tends to indicate that it's about 30% less across the board of the drops comparing to 113, but it also means that the spawning is not uniform anymore like it was before. If a farm is a pretty small and is located in the center of the chunk, the rate should be similar to 113, but if it's located on the chunk corners, like this one is exactly, spawning will be drastically reduced. The solution is actually very simple uh, for this particular farm, just move the spawning path to the center of the chunk, not to the very corner of four chunks like <laughs> happened with this farm, and you should be good, but some farms like for example, witch farms, which are restricted to witch hut placement, which is always aligned with the chunk corner, it wouldn't be possible, which is yet another nerf uh, added on top of all the previous nerfs to the witch farms, I guess. To see how much of a difference it makes, I devised this experiment here. We have two identical spawning paths with identical support for pack spawning. This actually is also something I found as well that changed. Spawning is not using a top block that sees skylight anymore to determine the top spawning block. Since light has been moved to its own thread to improve performance, this also means that the light height map is not available for game mechanics anymore. So it's using, in this case, a surface height map. So any block now counts in terms of increasing the top spawning block, even fully transparent ones. That's something to keep in mind. The only difference between these two paths is that this one is directly in the chunk center and the other one right smack in the corner of four chunks. I also have two command blocks that will count and remove any enderman that shows up here, so we could observe exactly what is the proportion of spawns on each pad. Okay, so now as I'm high enough, I can just uh, switch to creative. And as we can see, the center pad gets much more spawns, almost two and a half times more. Or to be exact, the corner pad gets actually 43% of what the other pad is getting. So if you happen to build your farm in the chunk corner and it's small enough, it will be spawning almost two and a half times less mobs than before. So I know this farm looked really good centered on the world axis, but now it needs to be moved to some center of a chunk. Or if you have one of these, the biggest pain in the butt in this design is spawning the Endermite. So it would probably be easier to just push the minecart with the Endermite a few blocks, like to probably here, and just build the farm in the other direction, making sure that the spawning pad is centered on the chunk, and the leafage or glassage or whatever block, uh, really to support the pack spawning, 
doesn't exceed this chunk. So I built the farm like that exactly over here. There are a couple of changes compared to 113 that we can see. First of all, the spawning pad is more squarish. Still at least 24 blocks away from the player location. Uh, really, if you want to experiment with other types of shapes of the spawning pad, be my guess. But this one should give you plenty of ender dudes. Also, you can see these uh, purple carpets here were not actually there in the tutorial part of the video I made for 113 design. That's something I found later that the previous design didn't protect endermite enough. Those that complained uh, that their endermites were dying probably didn't care to read the description or check the world download, but now there is no excuse. And another change is that you now shouldn't be crouching while using this farm, as now players are much lower than before when they do so, so you can actually be seen. And also there are still weird issues with Enderman AI, probably related to that performance issue I was talking about. So if you are only at the trapdoor away distance from them, like in this case, they don't see you, but they still seem to retaliate when you attack them. But if you move the player the wall away from the kill chamber, that solves the issue. Another issue is now when Endermen are hit, they teleport to the Void, which has this annoying side effect that player is pushed along by them teleporting back to the middle. But to prevent that, a simple cage, like in this case with walls and the fence gate, just for the player is sufficient, but also unfortunately necessary. So, your farm with those small little changes, I mean small, you have to rebuild it in a different location, should now be working correctly in 1.14. That would be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I guess wait for 1.14.1 when they hopefully, fingers crossed, fix all the pathfinding issues and possibly this weird teleportation glitches. So this cage is not really necessary and see you in the next one. Bye bye.